rude awakening. A couple is shocked when a naked man walks right into their bedroom. The homeowner reached for his gun and his phone to call 911. The culprit was caught. And as Fox News' Andrea Isom explains, the intruder's excuse sounds like a bad trip. Now here's the thing. He did not have a problem at all admitting to the police that he was not in his right mind that night. And he gave them a reason why he was so irrational. But these are the kind of excuses that the cops would call a cop out. Last Friday night, a soiree in South Lyon left a couple of party goers going way over the edge. Very much out of control. And police point to this guy as one of the rebel rousers wreaking havoc. 19 year old Jason Alexander Fornwall from Novi. Information into Fox 2 tells this story of this young man leaving the party and approaching this home not too far away. Cops say Fornwall found his way inside by cutting a screen. But before he walked in, he did something rather obscene. We heard that he had no clothes. No, he took them off, we're told. He was nude and his next door neighbor saw it all. He said, dude, I just had somebody enter my freaking house naked. I'd be flipping. Detectives say while in the buff, he barged into a bedroom, woke and startled a couple. But the husband and wife were quick to react to the erratic acting, stark naked stranger standing there. I guess that's when you have to defend yourself. He tackled the guy and they wrestled and they broke some things in his bedroom, and, but he apprehended him himself. Held him down and held him at gunpoint until the cops came. We've learned Fornwall later blamed his bad behavior on a bad hit of acid. Bad idea. I'm surprised they didn't kill him. You're lucky you're alive. He, he spared your life. I am really surprised they didn't shoot him. And South Lyon police laid something else on us. They also discovered another partier passed out, barely breathing on this nature trail. He was all hopped up on dope too. There's um, there's better means of having fun than to, to get to the point where you you don't even know where you're at and you enter somebody's house, you don't even realize you're you're not wearing clothes. I mean, for heaven's sake, let's, you know, get some help while you can. But wait, there's more. That same night, property vandals were on the prowl and he was a victim. Two tires were slashed and the driver's side um, front door window was busted out. Investigators did find a knife buried in foreign walls wardrobe. They are not yet saying these crimes are connected, but the circumstances are ironic for sure. It was something that got out of control and and some individuals really got out of control. Fornwall was arrested and charged with home invasion and that 20 year old who was found on that nature trail was high on heroin. He was also charged with possessing drug paraphernalia. Let's hope these young men learn a lesson from all this because both of them are very fortunate to be alive tonight. I'm Andrea Isom on the edge.